Hi guys, this is Dawn with Fantastic Friends, and today I'm coming to you with a slightly different video. Um, I found this item at, I'm pretty sure it was Sam's Wholesale Club. It could have been Costco, but I'm pretty sure it was Sam's. Um, a week and a half ago, maybe two weekends ago, my friend Lynn, who is the mommy to the dogs, Sophia and Barney, she went shopping and she asked me to go with her, so I did. And um, I found this cauliflower mac and cheese. And I love macaroni and cheese, but I also love cauliflower. So I went ahead and picked this up and I decided to give it a try. It comes with two 24 ounce trays and this is what it looks like. This is one of the trays. So we're going to try this on camera for the first time and see how it is. And if it's yummy, then this is a good way to not only get a serving of vegetables, but to still get some yummy mac and cheese without all the carbs. So, the directions say, preheat your oven to 400 degrees and remove the film. So I'm gonna do that. It looks like it's got a panko coating on top. I guess for some crunch and then cover it with foil put it on a baking sheet bake it at 400 degrees for 50 minutes remove the foil and bake it for another 10 minutes so, that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then once it's done, I'm going to let it sit for three minutes. It says let it stand for three minutes before serving, and then once all that's done, we're going to come back. Now, um, I have had a migraine for three days, guys, so, uh, so please forgive me if um, I sound a little loopy. I am just tired because uh, my reflux, acid reflux, and my IBS has also been haywire. So I have not been feeling good. I also have not been sleeping well. So I'm trying to get this video done. And I wanted to share this with anybody else who's interested in this item um, if they haven't tried it before. And I also just made homemade mashed potatoes because I had some potatoes in the pantry that were um, on the verge of um, going bad so I peeled them boiled them and made homemade mashed potatoes and I took some rotisserie chicken that I had put in the freezer that was already cooked but I took um, some of that out defrosted it and now I am just making this as one of my sides so let me get this in the oven, guys, and let it get uh, let's get it cooked, and then bring it out, and let's see if it's yummy. So I will be back, guys. See you in a few. Okay, guys, my cauliflower mac and cheese has come out of the oven, and I've let it cool for over five minutes. So I'm about to go ahead and scoop some of this out for my dinner and I'm going to go ahead and give it a little taste and see if it is worth it. Got my homemade mashed potatoes right there. I just pulled my chicken out of the oven that I reheated. 
So let's go ahead and have a taste of cauliflower mac and cheese. Let me see if it's cool enough to eat. I got to blow on it just a little bit here. Ooh, that's mighty tasty. I had a feeling I would like it because I love macaroni and cheese and I love cauliflower. Okay, guys, that gets a thumbs up from me. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my dinner. So there you go. A cauliflower mac and cheese that I picked up at Sam's Wholesale Club. So if you're trying to cut back on your carbs and you like vegetables, I'm telling you that's probably worth a shot. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe. And as always, love, hugs, and kitty kisses. Bye, guys.